Hello, so in this video I'm going to talk about the possibility that INFPs might be more prone to dissociation than other types. And I guess if this topic is going to be sensitive for you or upsetting, then just don't watch this video. Um, but otherwise, um, I think that in general certain types might be more likely to engage in certain defense mechanisms, which everybody does, I think all of them to a certain degree, but I think that there are favored ones by certain types. For example, I think that ESFJs and to a certain extent FE users in general might be a little bit more prone to projection as a defense mechanism and thinking types might be more prone to repression, which makes sense. Um, repress emotional and troubling things. So, um, and I'm not a mental health professional, so this is just kind of my opinion on this. I'm going to be talking a little bit about my own personal experience as well. And yeah, if this is going to be a sensitive topic, just click away now. Um, but I think that INFPs might be more prone to dissociation for a variety of reasons. And chiefly because INFPs are kind of dreamy and often our own world by nature. And this kind of just um, sets the stage for dissociation to happen um, under stressful or unpleasant circumstances. And for me, I feel like when I'm in a situation I don't want to be in, um, I feel like I'm present but not really there. Um, and it's, for example, like work meetings or just overwhelming situations, like if you know, say I'm at the mall and it's just way too crowded, there's way too many people and I can't even focus on what I'm trying to do. Um, that's what happens to me. And I think uh, for me, what happens is it's like, I don't feel good about this situation. So I'm going to create a better environment for myself in my head. And INFPs have a rich inner life and as kids, I think they're kind of, they, they probably had elaborate fantasies and maybe even had imaginary friends. I never did, but I guess maybe they did. Um, but to just pull into elaborate kind of fantasy, which is healthy for kids to do because that's kind of how they learn sometimes. You know, when like they play school and somebody's the teacher, like that's a healthy manifestation of this. And you know, from personal experience, I kind of, if, if I'm in a lot of pain physically, I, dissociation happens to me. And, um, I mean, that's just something that's always happened and happens about once a month. And something that in particular, which kind of spurred this idea for the video is just the psychological turmoil that the entire population has been just beaten to a pulp with the last two years and masks in particular really bother me and so those trigger dissociation for me and it's so it's really it's very difficult and I work 40 hours a week and I have to wear it and it's difficult and so I feel like it's it's frustrating for me because I know that I'm not performing as well as I should be with the stupid thing on because I feel like I can't breathe. Um, so it has this like dehumanizing effect on me and that sounds stupid, but um, that's how I feel. And INFPs, they have the stereotype of being kind of spacey people in general. And often the real world is hard for us to navigate, which is not an excuse just to not try to be successful. That's not an excuse, but it is difficult. It's more difficult for INFPs than it is for ENTJs, for example. That's the reality of the situation. And so we might kind of use this as a crutch um, without knowing sometimes, because that's the whole point of a defense mechanism is your brain kind of kicks it on to protect you from a stressful experience, whatever it is. Um, to kind of make it more manageable and um, 
Yeah, so it's kind of a brief discussion about why I think INFPs might be more prone to dissociation. And maybe it's just me that has this issue. It could just be me. Because I don't know if I'm the most stable person in some ways. Um, so anyway, um, and like I said, I'm not a mental health professional. This is kind of just based on my own experiences. And also I've read about INFPs um, talking about their struggles. And it, to me, it seems like it could be a type related thing. Um, so yeah, just let me know your thoughts on this. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know. Thank you for watching, and I will hope you have a good day.